Trains and all other means of transportation are for the people who need to travel. But what if I tell you that there are trains and they carry no one to anywhere? Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we'll get to know about some ghost trains in the UK. So without any further delay, let's get started. So this is nothing to get your eyebrows raised. This actually happens in various parts of Britain. Trains which are almost empty move on their routes once a day, or at the very least once a week. Yeah, the no passenger part is a strange part, but what's even more strange is that it stops at those places where no one goes. I mean, do ghosts have something to do with it? Well, we'll see. So there's this Shipia Hill Station in Cambridgeshire. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Anyways, it was named the most calm and quiet station in the entire UK back in 2015, with just 22 passengers arriving or departing the station, according to the BBC. Well, that's some weird stat. This station, I doubt that I pronounce its name correctly, haha. <laughs> Well, it sees just one ghost train a day, which would leave from London at 5.45 a.m., according to The Guardian. The closest town is Prickwillow, which is situated 4.4 miles from Shipia Hill. Okay, now the thing I'm about to tell you will probably drop your jaw. This station has no man ticket office and no ticket machines, and the station is literally staffed by CCTVs. So the question is, do the CCTVs get paid? Haha, <laughs> well they should be paid. The rarely visited station joins the ranks of train journeys like the Stockport to Staley Bridge line from Northern Rail Network. These stations are not actually dead, but in between stops are really dead. The company sends a one-way train once a week, and between the towns stops at Reddish South and Denton, plus the Guide Bridge. Well, you must be thinking the same thing as I am. Does it make any sense financially? I mean, don't the companies go in loss when the ghost trains are practically empty? Well, that's not actually the case. Actually, the railway operators have kind of an agreement with the government, in the form of certain documents. These documents have stated the stations which will be served. Now the interesting part is that if a route has to be shut down, train companies need to get a 14-step appraisal to analyze the proposed effect of closing the routes on the economy and the passengers who might rely on those routes. So once the proposal to close the routes is sent to the British Department for Transport for approval, details of the proposal and appraisal are published in a local paper. And not just one local paper, but two national papers and for two solid weeks. And hold on, there's more. The whole procedure has to be done at least six months before the route would actually close. Now the real process begins. The things I already told were just the warm-up. <laughs> so now the public is informed of the pros and cons of closing the rail route. A 12-week consultation begins. People are allowed to protest if they want. And if there's any controversy in the whole scenario, public hearings can be held. And if everything goes by the plan, and there's no unwanted situation in the whole scene, then finally the call of shutting down the route is made by the administration. Imagine the headache in the whole procedure. The amount of time it usually takes to get a line closed is insane. So now you see, it's usually actually cheaper for railway companies to just keep the trains open but with limited runs. So some companies cut the train service temporarily for maintenance, as long as they send buses in their place. London Midland has taken that excuse and run, using temporary rail replacement buses for 14 straight years. Residents have already asked the train station to reopen, so it's pretty much clear why London Midland wouldn't want to try the complicated process of shutting it down for good. So now I hope you understand why the UK runs ghost trains to nowhere, and it doesn't financially cost the companies. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do enlighten me with your feedback in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you don't miss out on any updates. See you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.